really see someone in the landscape in the 19th century in Southern California with that kind of charisma. Now, he knew it. He's described as this ultimate Southwesterner, charismatic, colorful. He was a showman. He was eccentric. I think he was manic. He was a storyteller. He was an archivist. His appetite for both experience and learning seems to be bottomless. His ambition, his exuberance, his physicality, his creativity, his work ethic, he's just wired for energy, and he does a lot in his lifetime. He was an explorer, a photographer, archaeologist, a writer, and founder of the Southwest Museum, among other things. A great writer, um, a good writer. He was quite possibly Los Angeles' first multiculturalist, or certainly its most vivid, vocal, and active multiculturalist. I don't mind so much if people say Loomis, but if you want to be really correct, it's Lummis. Charlie was born in Lynn, Massachusetts in 1859, uh, March 1st. His father was a principal of a school and then later a professor at a university. His mother died when he was around two. He was actually brought up by his relatives. His father couldn't take care of two little children, so he was brought up by extended family. He said he couldn't learn in a school setting. And he tells his father, I can't learn this way. Can you please teach me? That's a very astute uh, self-perception for a child to have. I had no violent personal ambition for college. I went because father had gone because he had trained me with years of personal concentration and because it was the cultural convention of New England, to which I acceded, as I did with most things, up until Harvard. I think he uh, appreciated the experiences related to the social aspects of college. The things outside of the classroom is what really piqued his interest. He built himself up athletically in Harvard. He was going to do things throughout his life with the power of will and force of his personality was going to just discover who he was meant to be, figure out who am I really and where am I really supposed to be in the world, and then become that. <laughs> 